Um, well, um, the title of the piece that I did the installation is called V. Dat je woont zoveel jaar geleden in een huis zonder licht in Radio. En je komt op een zonnige dag binnen in de kathedraal van Rijns. En dan komt het licht in die gotische ramen naar binnen. En je kijkt naar boven en je verdwaalt. Dat moet toch wel God zijn. Een andere kathedraal, de Duomo van Milaan, dat hebben we samen van genoten. Dat is zoiets moois. Maar wat is het bijzondere van de Duomo van Milaan is dat er is 400 jaar lang aan gewerkt. En wat betekent dat? En toen jij als kunstenaar begrijpt dat. Ik zie daar bijvoorbeeld een schilderij voor met Mystical Master. Dat is een, iemand die met een trombo, op een trombone leunt. Wat... De architect gaat iets maken waarvan ik weet dat dit resultaat nooit zal. Ik zie daar bijvoorbeeld een schilderij voor met een mystical master. Dat is een, iemand die met een trombo, op een trombone leunt. Wat... There is obviously a narrative pull in the work. And we are so influenced by cinematic culture. And vice versa. It's simply, it's simply part of how we look at the world and look at how we look at everything. Alle anderen zeggen dat een nieuwe vorm van kunst, de videokunst... Ofwel de time-based arts een waardevolle bijdrage aan de moderne kunst zou te gaan leveren. De tv-boeddha van Pike, een boeddha-beeld dat in een gesloten circuit via een videocamera voor zijn eigen beeld mediteert. I do some intimate stuff. Huh? Sandy Brown there. So I will make a like Sandy Brown one straight line this way and this way this way.
for St. John of the Cross. And in a way, it's a homage to the work of St. John of the Cross, uh, particularly one situation in his life where he was kept prisoner for nine months uh, in a cell, pretty similar to the Sodom. Um, well, um, the title of the piece that I did the installation is called Room for St. And what St. I did John was I created a room within and in a way, room. it's a homage the to the work of St. John this of the room Cross. Uh, particularly one situation in his life where he was kept prisoner for nine months uh, in a cell pretty similar to the size of this uh, room that I've created here in the piece. And during that period, he wrote um, most of the poems in the large known, room that you're in. And they're very, so, very strong and very, very powerful poems um, that actually speak really more about love and uh, ecstasy than about anger and, and uh, fear. And uh, so I designed the piece with, in a way uh, that in the work uh, when sort people of come into it, there's no feeling in mind in a way, a uh, transcendent sort of feeling. And what I did was I created a room within a room. That's the basic structure of the piece. This room sits in the large room that you're in. So in a way, in the work, when people come into it, there's outside no outside to the outside piece. Outside to the once piece. You enter this once large you enter space, this large you are space, in the piece. you are in the piece. And um, you're sort of enveloped by it. And there, there are two channels of video piece. in it. And one of them um, is a sort large of video projection it. screen of uh, and there, there are two channels of video in California with a one of them is a large video projection screen of uh, large image. mountains that and I shot inside this California room while that's going on jerk. and the sound of wind is filling the space from two speakers outside inside this small room there's a small window that you can look in and uh, there's a monitor on a table for each monitor of a shot of their projected in a large image. And inside this room, and while also is the sound of a voice, and the sound of wind is filling your space coming from within this outside. Room. Uh, inside this small room, there's the a small window that you can look Spanish, but uh, it's really very hard to understand. You can't make out the words. So uh, the piece, sort of in a way, is like a, it's like the center of the storm, in a way. The center of the cyclone, and uh, there's, uh, there's a monitor on the table, sort of four-inch monitor chaos of a shot all around. Still and mountain. there's the this, in moves. a way, calm, and and very very solid center, that uh, sort of anchors the whole piece. And also, there's the sound of a voice that you can barely hear coming from within this room. Uh, it's someone reading the poems of Saint John in Spanish, but uh, it's really very hard to understand. You can't make out the words. So uh, the piece, sort of, in a way, is like a, it's like the center of the storm, in a way, the center of the cyclone. That there's an incredibly turbulent sort of. chaos all around and there's this in a way calm and and very very solid center that uh, sort of anchors the whole piece as of this uh, room that I've created here in the piece and during that period he wrote um, most of the poems for which he's known and they're very very strong